Yeah, I think it went smoothly. Um, certainly observing the special vote process over the last two days, it's also gone smoothly. Of course, there's been a few hiccups here and there, but I'm generally satisfied with the way the IEC have conducted the last two days. And if today's and this station is anything to go by, it's going to be a smooth, easy process to make sure that South Africans can cast their vote and make tomorrow a better country. We don't go into the election for second place, but I'm also mindful of the fact that no party in this election will receive an outright majority. And for the first time in 30 years, there's an opportunity for change in South Africa at a government level. Every other election before this, it has been a foregone conclusion that the ANC was going to win. It was always about how, just how much. This election, all bets are off. And so we're heading into coalition country after this election. It won't be the same as it's been over the last 30 years. And I think that should excite Democrats all over the country and certainly those who value democracy all over the world. We only go into coalition with parties that share our values, principles and common objectives. There's no use going into, part, into coalitions with parties that don't share your same values and principles because they don't, uh, that leads to instability. So I've assigned agreement with 10 other political parties and we've been working very hard over the course of the last year to be able to put forward an alternative offer to South Africans. We've synthesized our policy offers, we've uh, put on the table alternatives and I'm very confident that the multi-party charter will get over 50% plus one. If that's not the case, we will convene as the multi-party charter over the next course of the next few days, probably in Johannesburg, have a look at the lie of the land and then decide what the next step for us to take is. But what I can tell South Africans is that the parties to the charter will always put the interests of South Africa first, will always put the interests of the people that we serve first because we are determined to build a better country. And we're calling on all South African voters to come out and make your mark because together we can build a better country and that tomorrow can be a better country.